Hi, I'm Kent, and today I'm going to talk about a different thing I'm going to try with glazes. So far, I've been buying uh, premixed glazes in these one-pint jars. And I think it works pretty well, but I wanted to experiment with some other things. So last time I went to the supply store, I picked up this. This is uh, 10 pounds of glaze base, and it says to mix um, 16 ounces, so one pound of glaze base with 11 ounces of water. Um, and that will give me a, a, a white glaze base. And then I also picked up some mason stains. Um, so here's a black mason stain. So today I'm gonna to mix up some base glaze um, and then I'm gonna divide it up. I will keep some of it original because I have no idea what this looks like. And then um, for part of it, I will also add in some uh, mason stain. So this should be pretty straightforward. Um, I'm gonna start with the, the glaze. Eleven ounces of water to start with. There we go, right at eleven. And then I need uh, sixteen ounces of the base. Um, this is very dusky, so I'm going to put on my mask. I'm going to open it up. I probably can't hear it at all. Okay, so that's all mixed up, so the dust should be gone. Let me close up this bag for now. Um, one of the tips I got watching uh, Old Forge Creations was to use a cheap immersion blender. Here's my immersion blender, I'll put it in the link. It actually comes with a detachable head and several other attachments. I actually only use the immersion part, um, and I, I was only looking for one of that, but the detachable head's really nice because I can actually take this and put this together, and then when I'm done with it, I can take it off the body and set the body down. And now I don't have to worry about it going on accidentally. One of the other tricks is that sometimes this will splatter. So I'll take a piece of paper towel, rip it about halfway through, and then slide that over. That'll contain the splatters. So put on the immersion head and go ahead and blend it up. All right, and here's the glaze base. We'll see how this turns out. Um, it's not a lot of glaze, but it should be enough for me to test with. So next, I'm going to uh, do this again, and then we will add in some of the uh, mason stain to get it colored. Get my scale again. We want 11 ounces of water. All right, 11 and a half, close enough for now. And we will tear that out. And then we'll put in, uh, again, 16 ounces a pound of the base. And I'm gonna open this up, so I'll put my respirator back on. So that's the base, so these two are now the same, but what I want to do now is add in um, some mason stain. So I was looking online about how much mason stain to use, and I've seen varying amounts um, for clays and glazes um, between you know, 1 and 10%. So I'm going to start with 5, which I think will be pretty strong for a black, and see how that goes. Um, I will have to fire it to test it out, and after that we can figure out if I want to add more or less. So I put in uh, 16 ounces of base glaze. And so 10% would be 1.6, so 5% would be 0.8 ounces. So same thing, I'm going to use the Immersion Blender to mix all this up. All right, let's see how that is. Here you can really see the splatter. This trick here of the paper towel saves a lot of mess. So that's a nice looking gray color. So now we have uh, the base glaze. Um, should be plain up white or cream maybe. Um, and then a version with 5% uh, of the black mason stain. So this should come out uh, some sort of uh, gray or black. All right, so next uh, we'll go ahead and glaze some pots using this. And I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so here are a couple of pots that I have bisque fired. I've got two different sizes here because my kiln is tiny. You can check out my other video to see an overview of that. Okay, let's do the light one. We'll do uh, one small and one large of each base glaze. So to do this, I just dunk it in, I tilt the pot so I can get down to the sides and spin it around. Here we go. Usually I don't uh, glaze the foot. I think the consistency is really good. It said you can add more or less water if you need to. This looks like it's acting like my other glazes. Do the next one. I'll do the same with the mason stain. The unfired glaze colors are always deceptive, but that's a nice looking gray. 
I also really like how it's being applied to the pots. The glaze I have that comes out of the jar tends to uh, run a little bit more and it doesn't dry quite as fast. So you'll notice I'm tilting the bucket a little bit. That's just so I can get it up the sides a little bit more. It's not very consistent, but I'm okay with that. So here we are, two in the base and uh, two in the 5% black mason stain. Mason stains cheat a little bit. Glaze chemistry is going to be uh, really complicated, and I know there's a whole thing to it itself. I figured mason stain would be a, a good way to get into this to start with. I'm going to put on some lids, and I am going to label these so I know what they are. So to label these, I actually just take a piece of packing tape, and I apply it. And then I can write on the packing tape, and I don't have to worry about messing with the container. So this one is base, glaze, this one is 5% black with base. All right, so now they're labeled, I can come back to them. Uh, since I know the, the volume here, uh, or the weight of this, I can actually go back and add some more black if I wanted to, uh, you can't really take it out. Um, so that's why I wanted to start uh, somewhat conservatively, if I want to darken it up, I can. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, let these dry and then I will fire them. And once they're done, I will come back and show you that. All right, so my kiln finished firing. Uh, it fired overnight and has cooled down. So we're down at a uh, hundred and some degrees now. So let's take off the lid and see what we got. All right, these turned out pretty well. So here's the first one. This one is the black with the mason stain. There's the small one. There's the large one. I really like these. Um, it's a little bit of texture in it, but it, you can tell it's it's very, very black. And these are a bit of a surprise. Um, these I think are actually clear. So I have a Laguna B, uh, B mix um, that I'm using for my clay. So it actually fires to be a bit pale. And it looks like these are clear on top of that. Oh, it's, there may be a little bit of color in there. It's really hard. So here are all the pots again, one more time. Overall, I think that's a success. Um, it's really interesting mixing up um, some different colors I didn't get out of a jar. Um, I really do like the texture of the base that I'm making out of the powder. Um, it works It works really well. The glaze I'm getting in the jar might have a few additives to make it easier to brush on. Um, and since I've been dipping these, um, the straight up uh, glaze may work out better. Well, I hope that was interesting. Um, I have a few more colors I might try in the future. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave me a comment. Thanks.